Kathy and Leah, come on up. We have Dana Dalton, Kathy Benson, Leah Voice Potter, doing a trio called One Voice. Superman's alter ego. This guy by the nerdy guy named Clark Kent. And what does he do? 
He's a mile Leonard reporter. A fine vital Leonard reporter, Clark Kent. Well, anybody who's ever been interviewed by a reporter knows there's no such thing as a mile Leonard reporter. It's an oxymoron. It's contradicted in terms like Jumbo Shrimp or a professional football player for the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> Out of all the careers there are out there, what, in the name of truth, justice, and the American way, possessed Clark Kent slash Superman to pursue a career as a reporter? Even in journalism school, I knew that the pay scale for journalists shows you a little on the low side. I mean, even Batman's alter ego, billionaire Bruce Wayne, is independently wealthy. So he can afford to buy a new Batmobile whenever the penguin sets off a smoke bomb in the Batcave. Not even having to go to his insurance page. <laughs> Superman, well, um, since Clark Kent's day job is as for my old man of the quarter for the Daily Planet, I can guarantee you that Superman's fortress of solitude is stocked with ramen noodles and store brand cola. <laughs> so I knew from the get go. Journalism is low paid, but I didn't know until I actually started doing it. It is a time tornado. When you become a reporter, you can pretty much kiss goodbye any hope of having a nine to five schedule or anything resembling time to yourself. You sit in meetings. You wait for sources to call you back. You call back your sources, leave another message, tell them you've got to call back before deadline. You go out at four o'clock in the morning and take a picture of a jackknife talk truck. I actually did do that. <laughs> <laughs> so how does Superman find time to be a superhero on Clark Kent's schedule? I've always wondered about that. Now suppose Superman, you know, Clark Kent's got an assignment editor at the, the newspaper, suppose Superman's got an assignment editor for superheroes. And this assignment editor's job is to dispatch superheroes to scenes of catastrophes where they can use their superpowers to save the world in the nick of time. Now I, I, this guy would have to know in advance what, when the disasters are going to happen and where I'm going to line up a guy in the cave to go and take care of these, okay? So here's Superman with his assignment editor. Superman? Yeah? Dam's going to break about 12.30 Thursday afternoon. Can you use your super brand to pull back the water, please? Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, no can do. I have to cover a garbage arbitration here. <laughs> a what? A garbage arbitration here. City's got to compete with the garbage haulers. They're threatening to cancel trash pickup next week. That's boring. Nobody's going to read that story. You're probably right, but if the garbage trucks don't show up, you can bet I'm going to be getting calls from people asking, now, why wasn't there anything in the paper about this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right, fine. How about this? About 8 o'clock tomorrow night, aliens are going to abduct Lois Lane. <laughs> bet you want to be the one to rescue her. Well, I'd love to, except that's when I'm supposed to cover the county highway meeting. <laughs> all right, Superman. One last chance, and I bet you won't say no this time. Well, you can try me. Well, okay. We're in, in, in uh, central Wisconsin, now near Portage on Silver Lake. Somebody is going to be trying to go ice fishing at the end of March. This ATV is going to fall in the lake. Just the ATV? Yeah. Fisherman's okay. You don't have to rescue anybody. Yeah, that's right. No. Okay. Yeah, I can be there. Sure. Great. Can you fish this poor dude's car out? No, but thanks for the news tip. I bet the photos I take are going to be on the front page. <laughs> Chris Kirst and her husband, Dean, are doing a duet. They were in. Take it away, Lynn. <laughs> when the moon 